difficult times when the union budget is being presented. The union finance minister has to keep a balance between expectations of people and the available resources. The economy was not doing very well in the last uh, couple of years because of the pandemic. But in spite of that, the government has done a huge amount of efforts to bring in rails and the results could be seen from the numbers. Now people are uh, having great expectations uh, from the budget which is going to be presented next week. People are looking at employment boosting measures. People are looking at uh, the tax slips being rationalized so that people get more relief. People are looking at increase in the limit of ATHC and ATG. People are also looking at benefits of increase in the limit of home loan interest. The government has to build resilience in the economy. The sectors have to be made more uh, robust. Now, on the taxpayer front, measures to encourage more foreign investment relief for real estate and infrastructure sectors could be in the spotlight. Steps to boost investor confidence and attract foreign investment and to rationalize compliance to increase adoption of technology tools. Also be so far as the industry is concerned, there is a lot of talk are looking at waiving of transfer pricing compliance requirement for foreign companies receiving royalties, interest, and service fee that are subject to withholding tax and having exemption for filing returns. We we'll also talk about exclusion of dividend from the rigors of transfer pricing being distribution appropriation of profits, whether received by Indian headquarters or paid by Indian companies for those headquarters. Coordinative relief to non resident taxpayers on giving effect to transfer secondary adjustment is also. Acceptability of prices agreed through a PF or custom GST is another important feature which needs to be looked at. Introduction of facility for prepayment of taxes in APS to reduce the interest burden is very important. Similar is the introduction of separate fast track channeling for APA renewals. Keeping regular TP assessment of years covered on the APA in advance until the conclusion of APA is also something which is just Another important aspect is the clarity and equalization levy on special economic presence. Rationalization of provisions relating to special economic presence and clarity and our approach to profit attribution is also very important. There are a lot of issues which the government has to look into. But being a pandemic year, in fact, the third year of the pandemic, let's hope for the best the finance minister is able to maintain a balance between two in the economy. Thank you.